generation of leaders must take America to the next stage of global leadership. No second term for Senator Mitt Romney, who announced today that he will not seek re-election. The senator called on other aging leaders from both parties here to do the very same thing. And tonight, new specialist Andrew Adams spoke to political observers and young Republicans about the implications. Andrew? Well, we're told that the move will force Republicans and Democrats alike to ask some tough questions, given the ages of the current president, the previous one, and also people like Mitch McConnell and Dianne Feinstein. The move also leaves this Senate race an open one. Frankly, it's time for a new generation of leaders. Acknowledging he'd be in his mid-80s by the end of another term. Senator Mitt Romney said America would be better served by younger leaders. I think it would be a great thing if both President Biden and former President Trump were to stand aside and let their respective party pick someone in the next generation. Even Republicans who have struggled to find agreement with Romney took little issue with the idea of a changing of the guard. I think we definitely need a new young um, leadership, especially in the Republican Party. Tyler Boyles, president of the U of U College Republicans, says many in Washington are out of touch with what's important to younger voters. For us to afford gas at this high of a price and all these different economic issues, I mean, I think I think the next candidate is to be really in touch with that. I hope that, uh, that we get a very strong contender and, and, uh, and that it's someone who's a little younger than me. Already, younger candidates are starting to surface on the Republican side. The Speaker of the House, Brad Wilson, and Trent Stagg, who's a former student of mine. We could have five or six Republicans running for that open seat. Political scientist Tim Chambliss says eventually someone will have to emerge to represent a Republican Party with ongoing divisions, something that could also make a run more enticing for a big-name Democrat. There's a potential that the Democrats could nominate somebody who's dynamic, who's well-known, who has money, can self-finance, who would be a viable candidate against a divided Republican Party. Well, Chambliss pointed out that a Democrat has not won a Senate race in Utah in over 50 years. Meanwhile, Romney refusing to endorse anybody. He equated endorsements, said basically uh, they aren't worth a bucket of spit. Voters will have to make their own choices. Back to you. Yeah, his announcement was all over national news, though, because age is such a hot topic right now. Andrew, thanks.